Welcome guys on a tutorial on how to make your OBS and green screen work perfectly together in a very easy way. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because a lot of the guides out there and the information about how to make your green screen really good is off and really bad. And uh, it's made my life in a way a bit harder than it should have been because yeah, there's no guides out there. So I figured out this out on my own. Actually, it was because I was playing around with XSplit for a few days and I apparently had a premium subscription over there still and figured that their green screen software was a lot better and a lot simpler and just out the, right out of the batch that what you can expect from a paying software other than it's crap. Um, I was like kind of mad that I couldn't get those settings over directly to OBS in some way that there's only the chroma key and I was like thinking brainstorming on how to make the same kind of effort out of it until I noticed what other addition to this keyframe or whatever they called it over there. It's not keyframe, key key, key color or something. Uh, but yeah, I then put my head into it and I figured out a solution. And I'm now going to show you how I did it from scratch. Um, we'll start with adding your vet webcam source or whatever you're calling it. Just so we know this is it. We select the Logitech. We select the resolution. We find the colors, uh, the this output format that you want to, and I'll just show you how I look. So this is my green screen without anything added to it. On, I'll just put it here so you can have a chance of see what's going on. We'll put it up here, and we'll stay me down here in a kind of sexy manner. Look at that! Look at how disgusting this is. The green screen. You can see there's a lot of different colors and everything is a bit of a mess. So normally people will tend to not, well, not do it wrong because it is one way of doing it, but this one here and then selecting a color here and then maxing up the similarities, playing around with the settings. And they're just recommending you doing that. And what I tend to find is the the more you play around with it, the more it becomes awful. Your fingers will become involved. It's not taking everything off. And yeah, I just, yeah, and if the co colors, you can make, you find a good setting. It seems to be perfect, uh, working perfectly. And then all of a sudden, the lighting change. Maybe it's day, maybe it's night. Maybe you have a something. This small thing change when we are amateurs and... Yeah, I just found it a bother because I found good settings and all of a sudden they failed and didn't work anymore. So what I found out was this. Instead of selecting with that pick here, then pick this one here. This is the green, like this is the chroma key, green chroma key, because it's 255 green, it's 100% green. It's only going for green colors and only go going for green similarities. Now it's not removing anything yet. You handsome devil. Just looked at myself, sorry. Got distracted there for a moment. Um, you pick this up and you just go crazy with the similarities. The similarities will only go for green now because it's 100% green we're going for. And the reason why you initially started using green screens in productions and software is because there's no green pigment in your skin color anywhere. Like nobody has that. So it will never go for skin color. And that was what you wanted. So here, and I will leave it at 850 because that's what I have found to be the best solution for me. And then I have blend on 50 and I have split reduction on zero, one, as that's the lowest you can go. And that will pretty much just work straight off the batch for me. And yeah, that's what I've done. That's what I've done to fix my green screen, which is a cheap, make it yourself, buy some green sheets and hang them up on the wall. Uh, of course, I have some lightings, but not a lot. Uh, and yeah, pretty much how I made this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you'd help you out not going through the same things I went through. And hopefully, you'll follow. Maybe watch me on Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch every day. So, see you guys. Have fun.